Before the video starts, today shout out winner goes to FMJ. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out in the next video, drop a like and a comment down below, subscribe with notifications on, and I will pick somebody randomly that will be shouted out in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys, it's Suki here, and I'm gonna be straight up honest. We have a pretty juicy and biblical video for today. Now this story involves many people, like the Fortnite guy, Keemstar, FaZe High Sky, FaZe Banks, and a few others. I'm gonna explain this whole situation to you guys and what went down. Now before I dive right into the news, I need to give you guys a warning. As you guys keep watching the video, it's gonna keep getting juicier and juicier, you know? So I would highly recommend you guys go get some food to eat. You know what guys? Drop a comment down below right now and tell me what you're eating as you're watching this video. I'm genuinely curious. Now let's get right into the news. This whole story started when Keemstar tweeted out saying, Team Tifu, you ruined a talented kid's career by snitching. Not cool. And for the nerds online saying, well he broke the rules, you're just as corny and lame. Now just a little backstory on what Keemstar is referring to. As we already know, Tifu and his lawyer filed a lawsuit against FaZe Clan, and in the article Hollywood Reporter posted, Tifu and or his law team said in the article, FaZe Clan signed an 11 year old gamer and pressured the minor and his family to lie about his age. And the reason why this is a big deal is because you have to be at least 13 or older to stream on Twitch, and after the article was released to the public, FaZe High Sky actually ended up getting banned on Twitch, and he also got banned from Twitter. Now back to the juicy stuff. After Keemstar tweeted that out, the Fortnite guy and Keemstar got into a Twitter conversation. Conflict. The Fortnite guy replied to Keemstar by saying, You for real going to blame Tifu for FaZe and High Sky doing something illegal? Also, his career is not ended. Lamau, come on. Keemstar replied to the Fortnite guy by saying, Like I said, you are just as corny and lame. The Fortnite guy said, Corny and lame. Ha ha. You think a 12 year old's career is over when he has 1 million subscribers on YouTube? Then you blame Tifu's team for ending it when they were doing something illegal. So obviously, Keemstar is not happy that Tifu's legal team came out and snitched on High Sky, and the Fortnite guy is on the other end. Because then Keemstar tweeted out saying, a Daily reminder that Tifu got a 12 year old's Twitch and Twitter taken down. Lim foul. The Fortnite guy replied to Keemstar by saying, a Daily reminder that Keem blames Tifu for doing something illegal. You act as if this was never going to get exposed. For God's sakes, FaZe Blaze said he was 11 on a stream. And if you guys don't know what the Fortnite guy is referring to, basically one day FaZe High Sky and Blaze were streaming together on Twitch when FaZe Blaze can expose High Sky's real age. And I will play that video for you guys right now. No, no I'm not 11 years old. You mean 13? Oh my god. Dude, this isn't two years ago, buddy. Dude, dumbo. Listen. What? I don't even know what age I am most of the time. I that stuff. You don't even know my age, dumbo. I haven't even told you my age, I told you I'm 13. So you know crazy stuff guys, and you know after this, Keemstar and the Fortnite guy just kept going at it, and it just keeps getting juicier. Keemstar replied to the Fortnite guy by saying, you're the type of dude that hunts down the manager at the movie theater to rat out a few kids that snuck in their own candy. Then the Fortnite guy drops the balls. He replies to Keemstar by saying, and you're the type of dude to blame a security camera for catching someone break the law. And as you guys can see on the screen, Tifu is siding with the Fortnite guy because Tifu liked the Fortnite guy's tweet to Keemstar, and then Keemstar drops all the boss guys. He said on Twitter, yeah at Tifu, not sure why you like this tweet. If you cared so much about the law then why were you drinking underage? Illegally jumping off of bridges, etc. And you know Keemstar does have a point here. By the looks of it, Tifu doesn't really care about the law. He just put the face high sky situation in the article to make face look bad and so Tifu could get out of the contract. And then the Fortnite guy said, he's liking it because it's the truth. You can't blame someone for calling the cops on a criminal robbing a bank. So why can you blame Tifu's team for exposing face for doing something illegal? And the reason why the Fortnite guy has a big problem with this is because FaZe High Sky is actually competing in these tournaments. You have to be over 13 years old to compete in them. And since FaZe High Sky lied about his age and he's competing in these tournaments and he's not following the rules, FaZe High Sky is qualifying for all these different tournaments and doing so, he is doing it underage when somebody who is actually following the rules could have been in FaZe High Sky's spot. So in a way, High Sky is finessing the system, you know? Because the Fortnite guy also tweeted out saying, no hate to High Sky, but he was literally playing in the World Cup and ruined other players chances. He was top 100 a ton and definitely killed some of the top players every week. Very possibly that he ended someone's chances. And another reason why FaZe shouldn't have let High Sky compete in the World Cup illegally. Bang saying, oh well he was lying about his age before he joined us and his family was okay with it. So it's okay we didn't mind. It's not an okay excuse. So you know I do see it from the Fortnite guys perspective and I also see it from Keemstars. And speaking of FaZe Ricky Banks. FaZe Banks actually ended up dropping all the balls on the Fortnite guy. After Keemstar tweeted out 
saying, you are literally the king of misinformation. So let's play a game. I will bet you 10 grand cash that Freeze did not break any law by signing High Sky. Do you accept? Then the Fortnite guy replied with, oh my god. So are you saying FaZe did not know High Sky's true age? No man. They literally allowed their 11 year old player to stream on Twitch and play in the Fortnite World Cup. Not only this, but they lied to the entire community. I don't think you want to make a bet. And FaZe Ricky Banks comes in hot replying to the Fortnite guy by saying, allowed High Sky to stream and play in the World Cup. What are you even saying dude? I've ignored and ignored you but it's starting to get annoying. 1. High Sky's agreement with us is bulletproof and there's absolutely no loss being broken. 2. We have zero control in what he does every day. Then the Fortnite guy replies with, you have no control in him playing in the World Cup? Question mark. If my player signed to my organization was 11 and playing in an event I need to be 13 in, I'd step in and stop it. But hey, you are not at fault at all. And not like you lied to your entire community about his age or anything, huh? It seems like the Fortnite guy is very opinionated in the situation because he also said, I'm shocked that you just said you have no control over what High Sky does when he's representing your world class organization. Oh my god. So at this point, this is all blown out of proportion. Twitter is blowing up, the Fortnite scene is in shambles. This was the highlight of the week, you know. And then FaZe Banks replies with, So the F what? High Sky was doing his own thing, streaming slash playing before we came into the picture. We loved him, brought him in and just supported what he was doing. If his parents are 100% okay with it, and they've made the decision as a family to do that, then who the F am I? And FaZe Banks does have a really good point here. High Sky was streaming on Twitch way before he joined FaZe, so it's not like FaZe pressured High Sky to stream on Twitch underage, because High Sky and his family were okay on streaming on Twitch way before FaZe came into the picture, you know? Then the Fortnite guy replied to Banks by saying, who the F are you? Apparently the owner of the organization he signed with, I think. You are one of the owners, right? I'm pretty sure almost any tier 1 organization would realize letting an 11 year old gamer sign to their team, competing in an event he needs to be 13 for, isn't a good idea. And then FaZe Banks quickly comes back and says, High Sky was a signature away from signing with TSM, along with a handful of other orgs. You don't know even what half of you- wait, what? Wait. Again, you don't know even half of what you think you know. So FaZe Banks quickly shuts down the Fortnite guy's response by saying, TSM, which is also a tier 1 organization, almost signed High Sky. And then the Fortnite guy replied with, Okay, then tell me what I don't know. I've tried reaching out so I can ask you all these questions in an interview, but no response every time. You gotta realize these responses you're making to me sound so dumb. Then FaZe Banks quickly fires back by saying, Why would I care to sit down and talk to a kid who consistently trash talks me slash my brand? Who's jumped to more conclusions and got so much more wrong than than right. It's clear you don't like me, and that's fine. But you are the trash you are spewing is just nonsense. And I can see why Banks doesn't want to do an interview with the Fortnite guy. Then the Fortnite guy replied to Banks by saying, Bro, what are you talking about? My first two videos covering the situation, I actually defended you and said you guys were in the right. But you wouldn't know that because you probably haven't even watched half my videos. Get your facts straight, man. And then FaZe Banks didn't say anything. And also guys, don't think we forgot about Keemstar. Keemstar replied to the Fortnite guy's tweet by saying, You have said on Twitter and YouTube multiple times that FaZe Clan broke the by signing High Sky to FaZe. I bet you 10 grand that FaZe did not break any law by signing High Sky. Do you accept? Stop changing the subject. Keemstar also replied to the Fortnite guy by saying, Why do you keep changing the subject? You said on Twitter and YouTube, FaZe broke the law by signing High Sky. Admit you are wrong on Twitter and YouTube, or make that 20k bet that you are right. And Keemstar just keeps dropping the balls on the Fortnite guy. Keemstar tweeted out saying, Someone needs to make a video of all the times the Fortnite guy has put out false information. It's embarrassing at this point. Dude won't even back up his own words with a 20k bet. Hashtag sad. And if you're wrong, fine. Just admit it and move on. So you know, Keemstar is kind of exposing the Fortnite guy in a way that he doesn't do all of his research when he makes his news videos and he's giving out false information. Then the Fortnite guy replied with, I'd say someone needs to make a montage of all the stupid stuff you've said as well, but I don't need to because it's already been done a thousand million times. Or whatever that number is, guys. I'm too lazy to count it up, you know. Keemstar also said, Also, if someone wants to make a YouTube channel dedicated to debunking the Fortnite guy, after a few videos, if I like what I see, I'll give you a plug from hashtag drama alert. Sick of the lazy journalism in the Fortnite community. He's not the only one. There's a few others that lie too. Except for me guys. Keemstar is not referring to me. I'm actually the good guy in the Fortnite community. In all my videos, I try my best to be unbiased as possible, but sometimes here and there, I will share my opinion, but I always make sure to give you guys both sides of the story. I also do all my research, and I never sugarcoat anything, you know? So if you guys want to be kept up to date with everything that happens in the Fortnite community, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Sorry about the quick plug right there guys. Now back to the juicy stuff. 
Keemstar also tweeted out saying, I see a few clowns saying, but Keem, you get this wrong. Yes, I have. No one is perfect. But when I make a mistake with a story, I'm the first one to expose myself and correct the info. And Keemstar is right. Every time Keemstar got a story wrong, in the next video, he always corrected the story and apologized. Then the Fortnite guy replied with, and you act as if you know all my content and have actually watched all my videos. Of course, some pros are going to say bad stuff about me, just like some YouTubers will because of your content. Anytime I've gotten something wrong, I immediately made a follow-up video. You are trying to corner me and suppress me with this stupid bet. But I'm not some kid who's gonna get scared because of it. We talked in DM, and you know my true intentions. I get it though. You like to stir up some drama. It's all good. Just don't pretend you. Then Keemstar drops the balls again, guys. This is like the 20th time Keemstar dropped the balls, guys. Keemstar tweeted out saying, This effing guy. I should just block him. You are trying to back me in a corner. Yes, I am. Duh. Make the bet or admit you lied to your fans. How hard is it to understand? The Fortnite guy replied with, You are the one who keeps tagging me and saying stuff first. Block me because I'm Applying and standing up. Lamau. Keem, you crack me up. Then Keemstar says, Standing up for what? Want to stand up for yourself and your own words and make the 20k bet? You have 5 minutes, then I'm blocking you because you keep talking but won't back up your words. Then Keemstar started memeing the Fortnite guy on Twitter a little bit, as you guys can see in the screenshots. And when the Fortnite guy saw Keemstar tweeting about him, he tweeted out saying, It's sad seeing this man tweet about me. I can't even respond because he blocked me. He can't handle someone disagreeing with him, flaunting money and requesting ridiculous stuff. How about you just tell us the info that makes me wrong instead of withholding it for a bet. And the second last ball Keemstar dropped on the Fortnite guy was this. Time's up. Fortnite Fibber. His new name has been blocked because he would not make the bet. So no one will win the 10 grand. However, I feel bad yet to suffer with all those tweets. So I'm giving away a console of your choice to one person, retweet to win, and winner will be picked in one hour. And in the screenshot, you guys can see that Keemstar did in fact block the Fortnite guy and this tweet has over 24k retweets. Also, I don't understand why the Fortnite guy doesn't accept the bet. Because trust me guys, money is not the problem in the situation. Everybody involved in the story, they all make so much money guys. You guys have no idea. The Fortnite guy, Keemstar, Freeze Banks, High Sky, they all make so much money. So it's not like the Fortnite guy doesn't have the money because if the Fortnite guy knew for a fact that he's in the right in this situation, he would have accepted the bet. And by him not doing so, it really speaks volumes on where the Fortnite guy stands in this situation. One of the last few things the Fortnite guy said was this, look at all of these grown men trying to corner me because I've called them out for their BS. Put 20k down P word. No, I'm not gonna back down. You are on Twitter calling Tifu a snitch for what? Because he was being effed by FaZe? Question mark. Just almost every other esports player. All these organizations are taking advantage of players and I am glad someone is taking a stand and is going to hopefully change how these teams operate in the future. I'm not the one on trial here. At Banks, how about you show the proof of the million dollar contract with zero splits that was offered to Tifu because you talked that stuff up like crazy. But when the time came for FaZe video, there was no zero split offer shown. And then Keem Keemstar dropped one final ball on the Fortnite guy. Keemstar made a video on Twitter replying to the Fortnite guy, and this is what Keemstar had to say. Well, look at these grown men! Look at these grown men trying to back me in a corner! I wonder why. I wonder why. Somebody is trying to hold you accountable for the things that you're saying. Wow, what a shocker! What a shocker! You've publicly said on YouTube that FaZe broke the law by signing High Sky. You said it on Twitter, my team is grabbing the clips. You said it multiple times on YouTube, multiple times on Twitter. Do you stick by your words or not? Obviously you don't wanna make the bet. So I guess you're not too confident in those statements that you publicly made to your fans. You keep on going on that FaZe lied to their fans and lied to the community about High Sky's age. You literally have lied to your own fans saying that FaZe broke the law and I'm willing to put 10 grand on it. Banks is willing to put 10 grand on it. Do you stand by your words? Do you stand by your words or not? So you know, pretty biblical stuff guys, but let me know whose side you're on. Are you on Keemstar's and FaZe Clan's side, or are you on the Fortnite guy's side? Me personally, I know I'm not supposed to pick sides on here, but I'm more leaning towards FaZe Clan's and Keemstar's side, just for the fact that, if we truly think about it, at the end of the day, this is all over a video game, which is Fortnite. Like, nobody truly cares that High Sky lied about his age just so he can stream on Twitch and play in tournaments, because no one is losing sleep over it. Nobody is going to bed thinking, damn guys, I can't believe High Sky lied about his age just so he can stream on Twitch, 
and playing these Fortnite tournaments like literally nobody cares and for all the aspiring Fortnite professionals crying about this and saying High Sky took your spot in the World Cup or he ruined your chances well that's all on you like you literally got killed by 11 year old 12 year old or however old High Sky is like that's pretty embarrassing and like you can't really blame High Sky he's just a kid having fun on Fortnite and he happens to be pretty good at the game you know and the only reason Tifu and his law team put that in the lawsuit because Tifu and his law team's goal was to make FaZe look bad as possible just so Tifu could get out of the contract so obviously they are gonna put that in the article and by now this has all blown out of proportion but again guys drop your opinion in the comment section down below about this whole situation I'm really curious as to what you guys have to say but that's all the news for today guys if you guys happen to enjoy the video drop a like and a comment and if you want to be kept updated with everything that happens make sure to subscribe with notifications on okay peace